Hi there, this is Michael Kodar here. I'm going to teach you about visual search in three minutes. What we're going to build is a search provider that looks like this. We can type a word into our search box. What we'll get is some suggestions that come back. And when we hit enter, we'll actually see a bunch of searches, search results that appear. This box is persistent across all websites because it sits in our toolbar. How does search work? Well, it's magical. There's an XML file that hooks it all together. So this XML file looks something like this. We can uh, specify the name of our search which is cool. We can also specify the URL that gets hit when the user presses enter. Here we're calling search.aspx, passing down a parameter. So if we go over here, search.aspx, passing down a parameter, that's exactly the same thing that happened when it hit enter there. Um, the next thing we want to do is actually specify some suggestions. So we can actually specify a suggestions file and what happens is it's actually an XML file or a serialized JSON file. In this particular instance, I'm calling, I'm pushing back a suggest XML file. Um, suggestions that ASPX passing down a parameter. So every time the user types something in the search box, uh, we're going to bring back an XML file. So this is what the XML XML file looks like. Let me change the parameter and type something else. And you'll see a bunch of results come back. So actually, if we type in that, see these three results: cap clock singlet, cap clock singlet. So this is actually the XML file that got called every time we typed in a, a, a result that gets generated dynamically based on the query that was typed. Um, so that's how suggestions work. It's a dynamically generated XML file that gets called every time a keystroke is, is, is typed into the search box and that's it, search suggest.aspx. We can also specify a fav icon uh, for the user to associate with our brand. So how do we get from not having a search provider to having a search provider, well, that XML file specifies everything, the manifest file. Uh, we need to add one line of code into our site that tells the user uh, that there's a search provider and that they can install it. So let's add that. So what we've got is a button. It's a HTML button with one line of JavaScript calling add search provider, uh, a method called add search provider, passing down to it search manifest.xml, sorry, the, the XML file. So that manifest file is getting passed down to the add search provider method. So when the user goes to our site, let's refresh that, uh, they'll get a button in this particular instance, they can hit OK, and what that means is, what it does is actually add the search provider, so then they'll start to see us in the, in the site. Pretty cool. Next thing I wanna show you, and probably the last thing I wanna show you, is the ability to identify that there's a search provider in the page, even if you haven't actually added a button that tells the user it exists. So let's add a link to our search provider. So what we've got here is a, is a, is a link to search manifest.xml and that will identify when IE goes to parse this page it'll look for this link and um, and tell tell the user that there's a that there's a search provider on this page so I'll show you what that looks like notice here that th what this looks like right if I hit refresh see how that went orangey colorblindy thingy yellowy um, that tells the user that there's a search provider on this page Right, so it's auto discoverable, and there's our search provider. We can click on that and do a search. I know it's not the most visible of buttons on the planet, but there you go. Search providers in three minutes.